By the way, I just want to say something. Shower scam. I love your content so much, and you'll always be my favorite YouTuber. Keep up the amazing work. What is up, I'm DSP, and welcome to the Weekend Preview for March 7th, 2011. Uh, a lot to talk about this week. Really excited, so let's get right into it. Uh, first of all, if you have not already checked it out, I've completed the game Stacking uh, on the PS3, and uh, the playlist is now up on DSP Gaming. Good for you! Dance. I apologize because there were a couple mix-ups last night. YouTube was having some weird problems. Uh, I had two videos error out, and then I tried to put them back into the playlist later on when I re-uploaded them, but they didn't get in the right order. So now the playlist is complete and is in the right order, so you check that out. Pretty quirky puzzle game. I enjoyed it a lot. <coughs> I apologize, because I'm still getting over the cold that I had this whole past week, so I'm going to sound a little bit congested and messed up in this video, but hopefully over the course of this week, it'll start to phase out. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> uh, I feel a lot better, by the way, uh, than I did the whole past week. Um, I definitely, you know, no more fever. This is just getting over the symptoms of the cold, and I am ready and geared up for a week of gaming, so. Am I excited for the new games this year? No. I hate video games. Later. They're terrible. Today, what's going to happen? Well, today, I got some personal stuff to take care of, including trying to go get my taxes done, uh, which is going to be <laughs> pretty interesting this year, because as you know, over the past couple of months, I've basically been employed by, like, four different companies. And, uh... You don't have to say anything. You know why? Because you pick up all your stuff because you're motherfucking fired. I have to figure out how this is going to factor in, especially because most of the companies, including Google, didn't take taxes out of what they paid me, which means I'm going to owe them money. Well, duh. Uh, the government, that is. And uh, I have no idea how much, so I'm actually going to a tax attorney for the first time in my entire life this afternoon, and we're going to see how this works out, so wish me luck. Um, okay. We are cooked. Yeah, we are absolutely cooked, chat. GG. But... That doesn't mean there's not going to be any gaming footage today. Um, I, I kind of weighed and balanced what I was going to do, and I said, well, it would be stupid to do the Dragon Age 2 demo, because Dragon Age 2 comes out tomorrow, and I'll be playing it. And then I said, well... <coughs> I, I looked at some other things, I said, well, it's not going to be enough time to, to really sink my teeth into a game like Fallout New Vegas, which I will eventually play again. I swear I will. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to do the optional missions I haven't done yet. But I just... Haven't had a significant amount of time to do it. When I wanted to do it, things have happened, unfortunately, that, that prevented me. This might be hard to believe, but are you aware that nobody gives a shit? Uh, and I said, well, it would be dumb to do Assassin's Creed Brotherhood oh. online might play, which a lot of people want, because there's a DLC coming out on Tuesday that's going to significantly add to that. So I've been like, you know what, after all this and, and considering it, I'm probably just going to do some more Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I need the practice anyway. You fucking suck! Uh, I'll probably go back to mission mode and do a lot of the missions I haven't done yet for the, 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 the other characters and uh, see what I can do. Mission mode, even though I criticize it a lot and say the combos are impractical, it really is useful as a tool because it at least gives you the idea of what are the special moves of the characters. What are their capabilities, you know? What are their supers and what are their basic combos? What hit can they land that's going to lead into a big combo? So... Boring! 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 At the very least, it, it makes you learn the basics of every character, and it's definitely going to help my gameplay overall, uh, especially with the tournament I'm going to this weekend, but we'll talk about that in a second. So, <coughs> that's probably what you'll see today on DSP Street Fighter. Now, tomorrow is a huge day. <coughs> Three reasons. Uh, number one, Dragon Age 2 comes out, and a hundred billion people want to see me play it. They all wanted me to play Dragon Age Origins, and I didn't play it, and it's a long-ass role-playing game. It's, like, over 40 hours long, uh, and uh, so, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to try to play it. But other stuff is happening as well. Like I said, the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood is having a DLC that's both a single-player pl single DLC plus a uh, substantial addition to the multiplayer gameplay of that game. No. You are a boring F-star-star star cunt. In addition to that, for PlayStation Plus members exclusively, the Mortal Kombat 9 demo is coming out tomorrow. And that's something I'm really interested in because, as you know, I'm touring the fighting game scene this year. I'm planning on, on attending several of the tournaments that are the Road to Evo, so to speak, which are the Evo Qualifier Tournaments, uh, which are basically tournaments leading as a qualifier to the Nationals in July. And... Ah, uh, Mortal Kombat's going to be a big part of that. When it comes out in April, it is a major game this year at Evolution, uh, and this is a... 
a throwback to the classic Mortal Kombat. It's not like the 3D Mortal Kombat of the past decade. They're throwing all that out because they realized that it basically dumbed down the franchise and made it not tournament worthy. They're going back to their grassroots here. Nice tips. And they've enlisted the, the help of many of the tournament level players from back in the 90s for Mortal Kombat, including my friend Jason Wilson, who's given significant input. And from all intents and purposes, from what I've heard from him, this game's really good. So I am excited to get my hands on this game and test it out and see what it's like. Um, can you, like, shut up? And I've seen some video footage which looked promising, so I'm really interested in getting my hands on this game. Uh, and so the demo comes out tomorrow. It's definitely something I want to do. But here's the catch, all right? I just mentioned three major things going on this week that I want to do. However, final round, which is the next step on the road to EVO, is this weekend, starting on Friday, which actually means that on Thursday, I will be traveling. I'm actually going to be heading over to uh, LaGuardia, taking a plane down to Atlanta, Georgia, and I will be in Atlanta starting on Thursday and not returning until Monday of the next week. Man loves to hear himself talk. Which means from Thursday to Monday, all you're going to see is trip footage and fighting game footage from Final Round in Atlanta, Georgia. So... Unfortunately, it looks like some of my other stuff is on hiatus. Uh, and that's a bummer. It's a, it's a bummer because, especially with a game like Dragon Age 2, like I said, it's supposed to be a 40-hour role-playing game, and I'm probably going to get heavily into it, and then it's going to be like, oh, I have to stop playing for like a week because I'm going on this trip. No one fucking cares. Which is fine because I definitely want to go on this trip. I definitely want to cover Final Round. I'm, I'm hoping to, you know, not only be able to play, but by the way, my hand is much better. Uh, the only problem is, yeah, there is numbness in the tip of my thumb, but my, all the pain that was in my arm and all that is gone. It's all healed, so I'm really looking forward to this tournament. Uh, I'm going to participate in Super Turbo on the arcade uh, cabinet they're going to have. They're also going to have... Yeah, um... Each dollar Did you just have a brain fart? What the hell's the name of the game? I don't even remember. Oh, HDR, HD Remix, Super Turbo HD Remix, which I only played like twice in tournament ever, and that's pretty much the only time I've ever played it, but I'm going to try to play in that tournament as well, and I'm going to try to enter Marvel vs. Capcom 3. So, three tournaments I'm going to try to play in. Um, I have no idea how I'm going to do in, in Marvel vs. Capcom 3, to be honest, because I didn't get any practice at Winter Brawl because of what was going on in my hand, besides that 45 minutes that I was playing. Fuck em, baby. At the charity event, so. Hopefully. I'll get some practice this time around, and the reason I say that is because I'm going on Thursday, the tournament starts on Friday, but Marvel 2, or Marvel 3 doesn't start till Saturday, so I might have at least a full day on Friday, outside of Super Turbo, to play Marvel 3 and, and try to level myself up as much as I can, basically. So, we'll see what happens with that. Um, this guy fucking sucks. Another really cool thing going on is that Tokido, who, there were rumors he was going to Winter Brawl, is actually going to Final Round. And what I want to say is that Tokido, as I said in a, in a video about Winter Brawl before that happened, because I was mistaken that he wasn't going to that, I owe him an ass whooping, alright? He's beaten me at both EVO 2005, he eliminated me from Super Turbo, and EVO 2006, he eliminated me from Anniversary Edition. So he really is going to catch a beatdown come final round if we face each other in Super Turbo. <laughs> <laughs> No. Now, any other game, I have no freaking idea. I haven't played, you know, Super Street Fighter 4 in 100 years. Uh, I have not, you know, significantly played, uh, excuse me, Marvel 3 in a tournament setting yet, so I have no idea how I'm going to do. But, if it's Super Turbo, I'm not losing to this guy. I know his gameplay, and uh, I've been, you know, playing Super Turbo a lot myself, and I'm ready to whoop his ass, so. We've got a badass over here. We'll see what happens, but as long as everything goes right, you know, fingers crossed, but my right arm doesn't completely fucking fall off before I play this guy. But uh, I'm going to lay out some, uh, some justice and revenge on this guy. And, uh, you know, he calls himself Murderface. Well, Murderface versus Trollface. Who the fuck do you think's gonna win that one? <laughs> so anyway... You're one ugly motherfucker. Alright, final round. I'm fucking hype. Also, so much going on. I mean, at Winter Brawl, was the first time we saw Marvel vs. Capcom 3 in a tournament setting. We learned so much about the game. We saw during the finals, thanks to Justin Wong, that the game's not just about overpowered characters like Sentinel, but it's also about very important partner selection, and that partner selection can actually make or break your game. And uh, I'm, I'm really interested to see what partners now are going to come out that final round and are just going to lock down people, which is exactly what Justin did in the finals at Winter Brawl. He was locking down people with that Tron flame assist, <coughs> also with the Akuma uh, hurricane kick assist. So let's see what happens. I'm hyped. I want to see what happens. And uh, God, you ever shut up, pal. I will try, you know, to get on the stream. Uh, if I can, Team Spooky will be there again to stream. So the same deal as last time. Check them out on Justin TV. Uh, Vic does a really great job with that stream, and uh, we're ho I mean, I'm hoping this time that nothing goes wrong. If you remember at Winter Brawl, there was a massive hardware failures, and his HDR or his HD cable that you know would have allowed him to broadcast in HD basically fried out, and he couldn't do it. So because of that, it had to be in standard definition the whole tournament. Hoping that that doesn't happen, obviously at Winter Brawl or uh, uh, final round, and that will have 
you know, full capabilities for that stream, but I definitely encourage everyone to check it out. Oh my god, who the hell cares? And again, if anyone can help out Team Spooky with a donation, uh, you know, they do the, the best streams in the business, they do it completely for free, and uh, they're just trying to promote the Street Fighter community, that's what they're about. So go ahead, if you can, go donate to Team Spooky. Uh, but I will, you know, definitely be, be there hanging out with them. I'll see if I can, you know, get on the stream for some commentary. I'm not going to hog it or anything like that. Uh, I would assume that final round we're going to try to do the same exact thing that we did with Winter Brawl. Everyone gets a fair chance. Anyone who wants to do commentary. And uh, I get the, I, I think that Ski Sonic and Keats will probably be there. I'm not 100% on that, but I think that they are going to be there. So I'm sure they'll be doing commentary. It's so boring. How does that work? Where does that exactly come from? It doesn't make any sense. Make it stop. All the local players from down in Atlanta will be there, and I'm sure we're going to get some of them on commentary as well. That's the advantage of having a, a tour like this, a, a national tour, is that you get to see the flavors of different areas of the country and different takes and different personalities are going to be able to contribute. So uh, I'm hyped. I'm going to see some people in Atlanta that I haven't seen in quite a long time. Shimblanca, VDO. There's a lot of people down there who I'm cool with, and I haven't seen in over four years because I haven't been to Atlanta, and I'm really looking forward to heading down there and seeing them and hanging out. So pretty damn cool. Cannot wait. Uh, that's going to be my weekend, so expect more you know, live footage straight from Atlanta this weekend. Uh, I'm going to try to record even more than I did last time. Last time I was limited because my battery charger died on me during the tournament at Winter Brawl, so I was very limited with what I could record. Uh, and now I have a new battery charger that actually freaking works, so I fully expect to be recording Super Turbo, Marvel, you know, not only teams, but singles, Super Street Fighter 4. I'm going to try to get as much footage as I possibly can uh, at this tournament. Plus, just like you saw at Winter Brawl, I'll do, like, uh, vlogs of me, you know, going out there, what it's like, what the hotel's like. If any crazy stuff happens, like if another fight breaks out, hell, I mean, that was so insane at Winter Brawl that that fight broke out. I mean, it was just nuts. Three in the morning, weaves are flying. I, uh, <laughs> how can you be more hyped than that? Three in the morning, fake hair is falling from the sky. I mean, that's just nuts. <laughs> How high, it's just going to be so hype the final round out because of stuff like that. Plus, I can't wait to make 5,000 Charlie Sheen jokes at this tournament, so. <laughs> what grade are you in? Let's see what happens. I'm really hyped for final round. So, in recap, what does this mean? It means that tomorrow, I'm definitely going to be trying Dragon Age 2, but I'm also going to be trying <coughs> the Mortal Kombat 9 demo and uh, giving my commentary on that and what I think about that game. Yes, I know the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood DLC comes out, but... I don't know if I'm going to play it, because I really want to try Dragon Age, and especially if the, the, the DLC has multiplayer and all that, that's a significant amount of time that I need to play. So I'm not saying no. Okay. But basically what I'm saying is this. I have Tuesday and Wednesday to play three major releases before I head off the final round, and I really have to gauge my time and say what's more important and what do people want to see. Often during streams I'm asked who I think the worst YouTuber on the site is. So I'm going to think about it and I'm going to carefully consider it and I'm going to play definitely Mortal Kombat 9. I'm definitely going to start Dragon Age 2 and I'm on the fence about the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood DLC. So we'll see what happens. And uh, it's all going to go down here on DSP Gaming. So check that out. Um, and then final round all weekend. And then when I come back next week, we'll, we'll see. Homefront comes out next week on Tuesday. But being that, you know, I'll barely have touched the scratch the surface of Dragon Age 2. I really don't know if I'm going to start Homefront. Um, I might finish Dragon Age 2 before I try Homefront. But I guess we'll see what happens and uh, and go from there. So anyway, that's it. That's the weekend preview. A lot of footage coming your way this week. So I hope you enjoy it. And shove it up your ass. All up in your ass. I'm hype. I'm feeling better. Still a little congested, but trying to get my head screwed on straight here so that I can get buckled down and ready for another week of hardcore gaming. Uh, and and uh, that is it. So... Excuse me. Uh, I'm DSP. Uh, get ready, get hype, final round, Tokido, you're going down, motherfucker. You and your dumbass murder face gimmick. And uh, everyone else, enjoy, you know, the footage here on DSP Gaming. Mm -hmm. Remember, all the final round footage will be on DSP Street Fighter, which is my fighting game channel. The Mortal Kombat footage as well will be on DSP Street Fighter. Let me make that clear. Fighting game footage goes over there. Other games go on DSP Gaming. So that's how it's going to be split up. So anyway, thanks a lot. I'll talk to you guys later. Looking forward to this week. Really hype week. Take care. People just have massive disrespect. I mean, for years, these same guys are on top. And yes, I'm talking about John Choi. I'm talking about Alex Valle. Playing ST, placing. Okay, they're good. But to disrespect the people that got top eight at Evolution to make excuses because it's on console, it's ridiculous. And it's unacceptable.